I'm just in love with where I got to spend the night last night. So amazingly cool. <laughs> what a place. Anybody recognize this guy? Today, I get to go on a backpacking trip with Dan Becker. Uh, Dan and I have had a kind of a YouTube bond over the years uh, with backpacking, and today is finally the day that we get to meet and go on a real backpacking trip together. So, Dan, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Wouldn't wa I would rather be with no one else <laughs> Dan, other than you. Dan, that is, that is so sweet. Two kinds. So the mission for today and for the next week is to get onto the Centennial Trail here in lovely South Dakota and uh, do it. So the Centennial Trail is 130 miles. We won't be doing it in its full entirety, but we are doing several sections and uh, just really excited to explore this new territory, get to hike with Dan, uh, get some of his expertise and uh, yeah, kind of share that camaraderie on the trail. So this should be a fun time. So uh, yeah, we'll, we're just gonna go have a little adventure. Got any words of wisdom for me, Dan? Uh, uh, yeah, just, you know, try to keep up. Don't slow me down and we'll be good. I, I think, I think I'm gonna do my best, but uh, I'm a little nervous. This guy does seem like a whip cracker <laughs> and, uh, and we'll, we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's hit the trail. Let's go. So we've only gotten about uh, 50 yards onto the trail, yep, 50. maybe 100, maybe 100. Uh, and we're, we're already, uh, we got, we got the crew back there and they're all shuffling because we got our thunderstorms and, uh, you know, it's summertime in the Black Hills. It's going to be, it's going to be off and on here today. Dan and I are the prepared ones. We got our, we got our rain jacket. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Rookies. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's actually, uh, it's actually Look coming out. in. It's coming in. Look out. Coming in hot. Well, we just got totally doused uh, with a pretty good thunderstorm here. Uh, just as we're like, we're within the first mile. And even though we've got the rain jackets on, if you're new to backpacking, there is only so much that rain jackets can really do. So you'll still kind of find its way in through your neck, through your through your wrists. It's just kind of what happens. Uh, and then of course, if you're like uh, our cameraman over there, he just doesn't bring uh, a rain jacket because he's he's too swole for that. So uh, so he's uh, he's a little bit wet right now. But it does look like we have some uh, some clear skies over there. I apologize for the film of moisture on the lens. Uh, we'll try to get that cleaned up for you here. But we've got about seven miles, I think. It's it's unknown how far we're actually going. Maybe six, maybe eight, maybe ten uh, miles for our mission today. So we got to keep going. Fifteen miles. Let's go. Fifty miles. Dan's ready. Dan's ready. Okay, here we go. Dan, what are we walking through? Uh, this is a whole heck of a lot of poison ivy. <laughs> Everywhere, every, this is literally my nightmare. That, all, all that, uh, it's just on both sides. Um, yeah, this poison ivy is everywhere. It is inevitable that we are going to be walking through it. I am definitely <laughs> nervous. Uh, that I'm gonna come away with a serious boatload of rashes. Hopefully it doesn't become a buttload of rashes. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm deeply uncomfortable right now. So aside from the massive amounts of poison ivy that is on the trail here, uh, it's, it's really stunning. So we've got just these pretty rad, big limestone walls. Uh, we've got a nice cascading river off to the side of us. And uh, we've got big black storm clouds that are threatening once again. But this is super cool. My first time on the Centennial Trail, uh, really in the heart of it. And uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm, 
Dan, are you having any fun? I am having a blast. <laughs> I actually am. This is really fun. This yeah. Is awesome. I, yeah. And the amount of poison ivy is throwing me off a little bit. Yeah. Because I do forget to look around, and you, you know, <laughs> just like the great Ferris Bueller used to say, you don't stop to look around. You might miss uh, some might poison miss ivy. Spray. Is that how it went? No. Not even I, I think he was. I, I do yeah. think that was about poison ivy. Yeah, it was. Uh. Got a divergence in the wood here. This one looks slightly less poisony. I hope. So Dan. Yes. What is among the hardest, most challenging trails or backpacking experiences? that uh, you think you've ever had? Well, um, actually when I was in Colorado, it was one of the first hikes I ever did. And I uh, didn't know how to pack and didn't know that I had elevation sickness problems. Went from 8,000 feet to 11,000 feet in four miles and had uh, severe elevation sickness. So got to the top and I didn't understand what was happening. I literally thought I like had the flu. And uh, I almost bailed, but after I sat down for about an hour, I started to come back around and we were good. And then I didn't really understand until after I went back down, like, holy cow, that's what elevations can actually do to a person. So <laughs> that's gotta do it. I think I'm feeling that elevation here <laughs> now, although I don't think I'm getting sick, but yeah, I have been around people getting elevation sickness and it's, it is no joke, no I consider joke. myself really lucky that I haven't gotten it. But where was that in Colorado, do you know? Uh, I was in the Rockies, uh, it was Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, hiked up to, I think it's called Sand, Le Sand Beach Lake. Yeah. Hey guys. Beautiful hike though. Oh, yeah. All that stuff up there is incredible. Yep. All right, so for you new hikers out there, it is worth doing a little bit of training, but also knowing altitude sickness, it's not necessarily related to training. So we start feeling that headachey disorientation, the key is to go down. Just get down elevation. A lot of water. And drink water. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dan's water here. Uh, you, where did you just filter this from? From that little uh, pothole right there. Okay, that guy. How many? How much water did you get out of this and maybe I, one or I two got, other potholes? Uh, about a half liter out of that and a half liter out of that to make one liter of unfiltered water, <laughs> which is going to be pre-filtered later via like my buff into a filter so I don't ruin my filter. So, but 2.2 pounds per liter. So I, I, I gather it out here. I'm only a mile and a half in the trail and I'm that big of a baby. So, <laughs> you know. But that's where he's different from me because I just will carry like six liters of water because I'm from the desert and that's what I'm used to. But you just carry mountain puddles of yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. potentially other hiker or goat urine. Uh, yeah, it's probably some guy's urine, absolutely. <laughs> So there's lazy and there's smart. This, my friends, that's smart. <laughs> Make you wait for it. That's smart. I genuinely have never seen that before. Uh, he says three ounces. Three ounces. Yeah. It has a light. It's has got a, a light. USB charger. USB charger. Yep. And uh, you don't have to huff and puff. That's right. And uh, pass out. And I could get through probably. Uh, yeah. How many times can you do this? Uh, I've never run out of power, and I've been. Probably four or five times at least. I could probably fill up this pad. But if you use the camp light, it's obviously gonna you know wear it on the back. Yeah, but, and yeah. charge your cell phone. On. Yeah, charge your cell. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Bringing the gadgets. There I love go. it. There you go. <laughs> So 
So the last night was awesome. We got to camp in this awesome place. Just wait till you see what's uh, behind me. These are some rad granite pinnacles that are just so freaking cool. Dan back there talking with our cameraman, Max. Uh, it was just a great night. And this place is just stinking beautiful. Do you see that? That's so crazy. Did you know that this exists in South Dakota? I sure didn't. So cool here. Dan and I just left camp and uh, I just can't believe how cool these formations are. Just this trail winds right through this little zone where they tighten up. Dan's not impressed. Dan has been like, uh, I don't know, a Grinch about all this stuff. I don't know. I mean, if you like that kind of thing. Do you prefer like green tunnel hiking? <laughs> yeah, cornfields, green tunnels. Um, yeah. Roads, I like hiking roads. Yeah. Well, sorry, this doesn't have any of that. But I'm kind of into this. <laughs> Maybe you would be too. So I've just wrapped up climbing with the crew from Sylvan Rocks here in Custer State Park. We've got an amazing place to uh, watch the sunset from. Sylvan Lake behind me, one of the gems of Custer State Park here in South Dakota. Beyond me is the Black Elk Wilderness. Over there is Little Devil's Tower, Black Elk Peak. And this is just such an insanely cool place. Gonna be watching the sunset from up here. I gotta be careful though, cause look at this edge. Not bad, eh? Well, Dan and I are continuing on the Centennial Trail, kind of getting into the northern end of the sections. We've done a couple of offshoots, side adventures, gone rock climbing. Uh, which, Dan, you crushed that. Oh my gosh. That was, that was so awesome. I sit up there and I ate two dinners waiting for you. Yeah, that was amazing. What'd you eat? A uh, skirt steak and I uh, ordered a pizza. And a pizza, <laughs> all while waiting for me to get up that ding rock. That's right. Yeah, we did uh, also some time in Custer State Park. Uh, not sure how this is gonna get edited, so maybe all wonky and out of chronological order. But uh, anyway, this trail is rad. Love and just finally getting some some good miles. Today we've got, I think on our objective is about 10 miles, followed by seven tomorrow. Um, so it's not crazy, but we are filming television. So just uh, be wary of that. If you're like eh, 10, seven, that's lame. Well, you know, there's a lot that goes into not lame. filming TV. Not at all. Dan, it's, what are what are your impressions of uh, this is legit for sure. being involved with yeah. television? It's 10 miles feels like 20. Well, it kind of is because we have to keep walking stuff over and over again for shots. So you're not wrong. <laughs> Usually I'm not wrong, so. Dan, uh, that's Dan's middle name. <laughs> not Dan, not wrong Becker. <laughs> Didn't know that. It's on his license plate, <laughs> which is official. Or some would call it a vanity plate. Oh, oh. look out, look out. <laughs> Zing. Uh, zinga. But it's super fun getting to backpack with another backpacker, somebody I've never backpacked with before. A guy who does a lot of his work with gear and stuff. So we've just been geeking out over uh, what we're carrying, tents, backpacks, sleeping bags, the full kit. So that's been really cool. It's always nice to get somebody else's perspective. You kind of, sometimes you just get in a rut of what you do uh, and you can be blind to other ideas. So one of the things that I was blind to was uh, where you get your water from, Dan. That one, that one, I was surprised. <laughs> uh, 
that that water was uh, looking murky. Pretty pretty gnarly. <laughs> but it worked. It, it worked. Work. Yeah, it that was great. That was great. You're just scooping it up out of a little pothole there. Uh, I loved it. You had the good system for that. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna carry on, find some new fun places. So stay with us. Hey. Give me a high five. Oh, good a job, friend. Bro. That's the end of the Centennial Trail for us. Awesome. You uh, you do all right? I did good. How'd you do? Oh, I loved it. That was that was fantastic. That was an amazing stretch of trail through the Black Hills. Absolutely. Would you come back and do it again? Oh, for sure. All Especially right. with you, my man. Oh, Dan, you're you're too kind. No, uh, yeah. What was uh, anything stand out to you as a favorite part? Oh man. Uh, I think uh, that camp night one in that uh, valley with all those needles everywhere, that was that was pretty epic. Top five campsites for me, for sure. Well, damn, dude. Good job, Dan. You rocked it out there. That was so fun to backpack with you. Let's get to the car and take a load off. Get something to drink.